Hey, how's it going? I'm Jen, and this is Cook the Book. And on this channel, I decided to find a recipe that I've never tried before in a cookbook that I may or may not have tried before and give it a shot, see whether or not I like it. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be making a recipe from the Tasty's latest and greatest cookbook. Uh, came out in 2017, so it's not necessarily the latest anymore. But at one point, there were some pretty good recipes in here. Um, today, however, we are going to be making the jalapeno popper dip. I'm going to go ahead and put that there so you guys can pause if you want to write down the ingredients. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. The first step in this recipe uh, gives you instructions on how to prepare your fresh jalapenos. Uh, it calls for four fresh jalapenos or a four ounce can of diced jalapenos. I opted for the four ounce can of diced jalapenos. So I'm gonna skip step one. Uh, make sure you turn your oven onto 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. And that's all of step two. So we're already done. And then here in a medium bowl, we need to take our cream cheese and sour cream cheddar cheese and Parmesan cheese and mix those together. Let's go ahead and start opening stuff. All right, eight ounces of cream cheese, one cup of sour cream. So we've got an eight ounce container of sour cream here. Two cups of shredded cheddar. There we go. One cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Oh no, wait. Three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese goes in here. And then reserve a quarter of a cup for the bread to breadcrumb to topping. For the breadcrumb topping. Oh, and the jalapenos. Now we mix it all together. There we go, beautiful. All right, now for the second part of step three, um, in a, another bowl, you mix your breadcrumbs, which is half a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs with four tablespoons of melted butter and the rest of your Parmesan cheese. So there's our half a cup of breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, which I think is a little more, that's well, a little bit more a quarter of a cup. It'll be okay. And a, a tablespoon of dried parsley. Oh, what am I gonna mix this with? Didn't think this through. I got a tiny whisk here. Let's see if this works. Okay. All right. That's it for step three. Now on step four. Step four: spoon the jalapeno mixture into an eight by eight baking dish or a medium sized cast iron skillet. I'm gonna go with the eight by eight baking dish. All that in there and spread it out evenly. There we go. Now we need to even, uh, now we need to read the instructions here. Sprinkle the breadcrumb topping evenly on top. Get it all over the place there. All right, now we bake it for 20 minutes or until hot and the breadcrumbs are golden brown. So we will check back in about 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes. Uh, it smells really, really good. My top didn't get quite as brown as the top in the picture, but it smells good. I didn't want to burn it. It's got some, some browning probably put it under the broiler if I want to, but I also didn't want to uh, burn the sides. So I've got some crackers here and we're gonna go ahead and just break into this dip and see what we think of it. It's still hot, it's steaming. There we go. Let's see what, the, let's see what we think. Oh, hot. Oh, it feels so hot. Oh, well, it burnt my mouth a little bit because it, I am impatient, didn't wait, but it's good. It's spicy. It's 
cheesy. It's good. I like it. It's a good dip. I'm going for more. I could probably live without the breadcrumbs on top, personally. I guess the breadcrumbs is what makes it the jalapeno popper dip and not just jalapeno cheese dip. But, you know, whatever. I like it. It's really good. I think that turned out really well. If you guys like this video, make sure you uh, hit the little thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, click subscribe. Ring the little bell icon that, you know, every time I upload a video. And uh, leave me a comment. Any comment. I love reading comments. Anything. It doesn't even have to be related to this video. Just leave me a comment. Maybe leave me something off the wall. Those are always fun. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.